Hey everybody, Graham here. I um, want to give you a quick update on uh, week two of the channel. I'm currently sitting at 33 subscribers and right around 1,800 views. My best performing videos are still the, um, the Chris Chan videos that I did last week, followed by the video about Emily Artful and Creepshow Art. Those, those videos are all performing in the triple digits. Um, one of the old Chris Chan ones is, is getting close to a thousand views, which just kind of blows my mind. Everything else, all my stuff about me uh, is, is in the double digits. But I appreciate the fact that, you know, it is getting those views. I mean, there's really no reason anybody should care about a lot of that stuff, but you know, people are still watching it, so that's great. I only actually know who about five of my subscribers are, because apparently that's something you have to enable in YouTube in order to uh, have people know that you subscribe to their channel. But um, if you are a subscriber, I, I would love it if you would leave a comment and introduce yourself, because I'm kind of curious as to who you folks are and um, how you find me and, and, and why, you, why you subscribe and um, stuff like that. So please uh, let me know about that. So I am currently working on a video about Elliot Roger, and this one's going to be a little bit longer. I'm shooting for half an hour, but I it may go a little longer than that. I, I don't know. It depends on how, how much I can edit it without losing actual information. And plus, I want to try out some editing stuff. I want to try putting pictures and, and, and B-roll and that kind of stuff in there just to see if I can get a handle on my editing software. I'm still using iMovie because it came with my Mac. I, I don't know that I want to invest in anything more powerful unless I have an actual reason to do so. I, I mean, and an actual reason could be because the channel's doing well or it could be just because I'm getting into this and I want to learn more editing stuff. But I kind of got my hands full with Logic Pro and, and editing music. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I, I may or may not pick up something more powerful. But at this point, I don't, I'm not really planning to. The Elliot Roger thing, I, I, I know it's been covered before. It's actually been covered quite... I, I was what, what got me thinking about it was that I was watching a, uh, a video about him by Coffeehouse Crime, which is a tremendous channel and... and uh, if you if you haven't seen it, it's it's worth watching. I mean, all the videos are under an hour. I, I think they're all under. I don't know if they're all under an hour, but most of them are under an hour. And they profile some interesting case. And the the host of it, Adrian, appears to be a very well traveled guy. He's always talking about um, having gone to various countries. And he he takes a very international approach to true crime. He he profiles stories from. From other countries, um, there are a lot of stories about like serial killers and mass murderers and and people like that who were in Japan or Korea or China and and, and we just never hear about them. It's interesting to to hear these cases and and so he did talk about Elliot Roger. Having watched the video, I was inspired to go read Elliot's manifesto, which is not super exciting reading. But I'm a fast reader, and, and I was able to blow through it in, you know, an hour and a half, even though it's like 140 pages. And I, I, I skimmed a lot of it because, really, who cares what happened to the guy when he was 11? But there's enough ideas presented in there to talk about that I think it could make an interesting video. So that's what I'm working on. I, I will do, you know, ca the same the sorts of casual videos that I've been doing so we will, um, we'll see what happens next week. Uh, you know, the videos that I do other than the Elliot video, you know, will be off the cuff sort of videos like this. The Elliot one, I'm actually going to try to script out a little bit, <laughs> if only so I don't have to do, you know, hours and hours of just editing through the video and, and cutting out all the ums and uhs and shh, stuff like that, which... You have no idea how often you say, um, until you record yourself. It's enlightening. So uh, anyway, that's, that's the plan. Pretty good week. Uh, picked up a bunch of subscribers. 
and I've got a few videos that are doing pretty well. The creep show art video definitely reinforced the fact that clickbait works. I mean, I didn't intend for it to be clickbaity. I actually did want to talk about it, but if you put something like creep show art or Chris Chan in a video title, it does better. I mean, and, and it makes sense, you know, people are searching for, for news about people they've heard about and they search and your video pops up and you get views. I, I, I'll probably do another channel profile video and I'm not sure what all else. It'll be another typical week. I, I mean, unless, you know, something unusual happens. But uh, I just wanted to give you folks an update on how things are going. Like I said, I, I, I kind of want to know who my subscribers are. So if you're moved to do so, please leave me a comment. I, I just, I kind of want to know. I'm, I'm not looking to stalk anybody or anything like that. I, I just, I want to know who you are. And that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. I, I'm sure I'll do something over the weekend. I'm definitely going to work on the Elliot thing over the weekend. But I don't imagine that'll be finished for a few days. I, you know, it's going to take a while to to put that together. But I do, I, I do want to see if I can do something a little bit more produced and polished. All right. Well, there you go. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Uh, see you soon. Thanks for dropping by.